Hi guys! In January of this year, I did a first impressions video sharing my initial thoughts about using Karen Simply Soft Yarn um, in your hair when you're doing yarn twist. And I thought I would come back on now and just kind of do a real review because I do have some things that I like about the yarn and surprisingly, some things I don't like. This yarn is really, really soft. It is just, it's incredible how soft it is. And the one thing I like about it too is it's very bendable, it's very pliable. So if you're a person who likes to do a lot of updos with yarn braids or yarn twists, this is the yarn for you. It's just wonderful. Now, the Red Heart yarn is not a soft yarn. So when you put it in your hair, your hair, it's kind of, it's almost stiff initially. It does get softer the longer you wear it, but with the Karen Simply Soft yarn, you put it in from day one, it's soft. It's bendable. It's pliable. It's, it's just a wonderful yarn in terms of the texture of it. The other thing I liked about the Karen Simply Soft yarn is that it's not abrasive to your fingers. When I am twisting yarn into my hair, the yarn is repeatedly rubbing right here and here. And with the Red Heart yarn, after a while, it this area gets really tender. And my solution to that is having a little container of water with me when I'm twisting my hair and I actually dunk my fingers in the water and dampen the yarn and that makes it um, easier to twist. I didn't have to do that with the Karen Simply Soft yarn. Because it's so soft, I did not get that tenderness on my fingers like I do when I'm using the Red Heart. I don't like that you can see the braid um, at the base of the twist because when I twist my hair I start with the braid and with the Karen Simply Soft yarn you can you can see the braid it's very distinctive it's very there's a difference between the braid and the twist and I don't like that you can see it I don't like that it's that obvious. Now I know the solution to that is starting with a twist, but I don't know how to do that and that's something I guess I will have to learn. When I twist my hair with the Red Heart yarn, I use three strands of yarn per section and that gives me a look that I really like. The twists aren't too big, they aren't too small, they're just right. But with the Karen Simply Soft yarn, three strands per section gives me a very limp look. The twists are too thin. So I have to use four strands of yarn per section to give me a look that's comparable to the Red Heart. And that leads me to my next con. Karen's Simply Soft Yarn is really, really expensive. This is $4.29. Red Heart, the Super Saver Pack, is $3. So look at this. This is way expensive. So I'm thinking about the fact that when I twist my hair with Karen Simply Soft Yarn, I need four strands of yarn per section. So that means I need more of the skeins to braid my hair. Plus, 
I'm just keeping the yarn in my hair for two weeks. So I'm not keeping this style for four or six weeks. So I'm taking this out more often, which means I'm going to need more of this yarn. And that's ka-ching. <laughs> I like the Karen Simply Soft yarn. I really do like it. However, I don't think I'm going to use the yarn after this is gone. I think I'm just going to stick with the Red Heart. And the main reason is the cost. It's just not worth it because I need more yarn more often. And at $4.29 for this amount, it's just not cost effective for me so I'm going to continue using the red heart now there are other yarns out there that people have recommended to me that later on I may experiment with but right now I think I'm going to stick with the red heart so take care guys and I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video bye